For generations, shellfish farmers have earned their living in the waters of Manila Bay. But every day now, on the horizon, they are faced with the reality that they may not be able to do so for much longer. Rapid development is pushing an overcrowded city to reclaim these waters, and thousands could lose their livelihoods and their homes. My whole family is here, and muscles are all we know. We are so confused now. We don't know what we'll do next if we couldn't do this anymore. Two years ago, this used to be water, and the fisher folk that lived in the villages over there had easy access to their livelihood, but not anymore. And their problems are far from over, as the authorities still have further plans on what to do with their fishing ground. Some 750 hectares were reclaimed from the bay in the 70s, but now the government wants to develop almost 2,000 hectares more. Despite the local community's fears, the authorities say measures are in place to make sure all reclamation is done responsibly. No area is going to be reclaimed without yet going through the process of getting the environmental compliance certificate. In terms of the social responsibility, we have to be able to adhere to that. But on reclaimed land across the bay, almost hidden from view by reeds, remains a vivid reminder of a community devastated by reclamation. Thousands were living here two years ago when developers came to demolish their homes and force them to relocate. Violence broke out when the residents refused to leave. The government saw them as illegal settlers, but most had been here since the early 90s. They were mainly Muslim refugees who had fled a separatist war in the south only to find there was no peace for them here either. When it was over, very little remained standing. Most left the area. But a few hundred stayed, vowing to defend their mosque from further demolition attempts. They cut off our electricity, our water. They put barbed wire around us and cut us off from the roads. But whoever comes to destroy the mosque be warned. We are ready to defend it to the death. While the battle is now being waged in court, a new generation is growing up here feeling unwelcome and isolated from the development around them, learning to always be on guard no matter what promises are made. If the reclamation is undertaken properly, uh, it, it, has, it, it should not damage anybody. So it must have to be planned in such a way that majority will benefit out of it. These residents know they're on borrowed time and they're grateful for another day here. It's land they say the government promised them, and as the fisher folk across the bay are also quickly learning, it isn't easy to live feeling like collateral damage to progress. Margot Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Manila Bay.